Hello, welcome to our Wednesday devotion. Great to have you with us today. Be still and know that I am God. That's from Psalm 46, verse 10. It's one of the most famous verses in the Bible. We put it on posters. We put it on coffee cups. We write it on our Facebook pages. We send it via text during times of sadness and distress. We long to feel this type of deep and lasting peace. If I'm honest, I have trouble living that. What about you? We are rarely still. How are you sleeping? How are you doing? We need to be reminded God is God and we are not. Some of us to need, need to cease striving. Some of us need to be still. Some of us need to just accomplish a peace and a trust from God. In Psalm, 30, in Psalm 46, verse 8 and 9, we read this. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he's brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. So in verse 8, it's a personal invitation to the people of Jerusalem to come and look at the destruction of their enemies and witness God's complete deliverance and provision. He saves his people once again. It isn't until verse 10 that God himself tells us, Be still and know that I am God. So how are we to be still? We are to stop and see what God has done. When we behold the works of the Lord, we notice God's deliverance. And this assures us that we can be still and know that he is indeed God. One idea is to consider the world around us. Friends, God is in charge. We may think we are, but no, God is. There will always be sickness. There will always be flood and fire and drama and devastation. We need to be concerned about our world, yes. But don't get consumed by it. We have news 24-7. God is in charge of it all. In the midst of all the drama and turmoil, God is with us and he will deliver us, his people. What is something you've noticed recently that reminds you that God is in control and he is with us? Don't be anxious about temporary problems. Be encouraged by the words from Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is anything excellent, if there is anything worthy of praise, let us think about these things. Second idea today is to look outside. We're now allowed to venture out from our homes, enjoy the outdoors, go for a walk, visit a few friends once again. Head outside. Stop and soak in the wonders of creation. Be still. Find a quiet spot. Sit and listen. Sit and be still. Stop and notice the amazing colours. Enjoy a sunrise or a sunset. Take a walk beside the water. 
Stop and be still. Enjoy the world that God has given us. In Psalm 19 we read, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. And from Psalm 95, For the Lord is a great God, a great King above all gods. In His hands are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are His also. The sea is His, for He made it, and His hands formed the dry land. Third idea today, look at the people around you. Maybe you're a bit sick of them by now, but stop and take a moment to look at the people around you, your friends, your loved ones, your family members, those that you do life with. Stop and look at them. See how God has worked in their lives. See how he has healed. See how he has changed. See how he has transformed. See how he's blessed different situations and outcomes. Stop and look at those in your life. Be thankful and rejoice for what God has done. Don't miss it. Don't be so driven that you just zip past it. But stop and look. The fourth idea today, look inside yourself. Look inside yourself. What has God done? How has he delivered you? How has he transformed you? What peace has he brought to your life? Take some time today to consider all that God has done in your own life. How has he redeemed you and called you by name? How has he changed you? How has he helped you? Are you more loving? Are you more forgiving? Because of what God has done. In what area of your life do you need God's peace today? Stop, look and listen. Psalm 46 encourages us. Verses 8 to 11. Come behold the works of the Lord. How he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Find a quiet spot today. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. For I am listening. Be still and know that he is God. Thanks for the opportunity to chat with you today. See you again soon.